Hi Lawrence, this is a video response to your question. Just uh, I just got on uh, Udemy. So what I've done here is a little simulation circuit. Since I don't have um, some infrared sensors handy, I'm simulating the two infrared sensors using these two buttons. So when I press uh, this button here, it's as if the first sensor is broken. And when I press the second button, it's as if the second sensor is broken. So I was looking at your sketch and uh, I noticed a couple of problems. Um, probably the biggest one has to do with the brackets. So you had um, brackets especially down here not closing pro properly and that caused uh, parts of your sketch to actually not be accessible. So um, anyway I've, I've gone ahead and uh, created a, a newer version of your sketch. So what I've got here is introduced a counter. You did have the counter variable in your original version but it, it wasn't uh, being used anywhere. So now I'm using the counter to count how many times the uh, the first sensor is broken. So it starts at zero and then the second time that the sensor is broken uh, it becomes one. And by doing that I'm actually able to access uh, different blocks of code. So <clears throat> the very first time that the sketch begins, measuring is false, so um, the while uh, this while block is accessible, so this segment of the block is accessible. Now when you have a counter at zero, so if you haven't broken the sensor yet, this counter is going to be zero, and you go to a digital uh, read as well, low at the start pin, so that way you can enter this part of the code. This will take a measurement put it in the start uh, variable and uh, increase the counter for this beam by one. So it's going to become one. Now, um, because I've only got one sensor that is trying to measure essentially two things, one problem that I came upon was that the Arduino would take these two measurements much, much quicker than my ability to press the button, release it and press it again. And you're probably going to have the same thing with your infrared sensor. So the Arduino is quite fast. So that's why, in order to I suppose debounce this uh, uh, this speed, I inserted a delay clause here, and I found that 300 milliseconds was enough time for me to uh, release the button, then press it again. So you're going to have to play with this number a, a little bit to see how long it takes for a person to lift the uh, the golf club up, break the beam the first time and then um, uh, go past the sensor again for the second time. That, that might need to be a little bit bigger but you'll have to experiment with this. Um, so once we have gone past the first, uh, well once we have interrupted the beam the first time then the counter becomes one and when you interrupt the beam the second time you can go into this part of the code, this the second block. We take another measurement. We also change the measuring boolean variable to true so that we are ready to take a measurement for when the golf club um, goes past the second sensor and that is uh, simulated by pressing this button here. So while you're measuring and uh, as soon as you break the second uh, infrared beam you go in, you take another measurement, you put it in the finish variable. Um, you turn your measurement, uh, your measuring uh, boolean back to false. So I've got this code here. I'll upload it to my Arduino. And uh, let's have a look at the monitor. So I break the first beam once twice and then there's the uh, the second beam broken so I can get some nice clean measurements so here's uh, the first one second one millis uh, the third one and then you calculate your speed here so yeah I hope this makes sense and is useful let me know what you find